What's going on my Dorklings? It's your boy Nintendo Dork here. We are back with another unboxing and review of yet another Bauer product, the 10 inch tabletop ring light, so stick around for that. Before we begin, I just gotta say a short little disclaimer. Um, Bauer did not send me this. They are not sponsoring me. They didn't pay me to say any of these things. So everything you see in the video is genuine and is my opinion. Taking a look here, we have the 10 inch tabletop ring light kit with a tabletop ball head, tripod, and phone holder. So this one's a little bit different than the last one we reviewed, which if you guys wanna check that out, it'll be in the top right hand corner of the screen. The last one I believe was an eight inch ring light and it was on a 51 inch tripod. This one obviously is a 10 inch and it goes on the tabletop. So it's got a shorter desktop tripod as you can see here. It has three light colors and 10 levels of brightness. I don't recall what the brightness level was of the eight inch one, but this one has three light colors like the last one as well. Like all of the other Bauer products that we've reviewed, this is great for vlogging, live videos, video chats, social media, and live streaming. It has a ball head design, a desktop tripod, wireless remote, which uh, looks to be the same one as the last one. Uh, it's an ultra wide range and an LED light, obviously. Taking a look at the back of the box, we can see that it's got the 10 levels of brightness and three color modes, which is your white light, natural light, and warm light. Looks like it has the same power switch as the last one as well. Real quick, once again, inside the box is the 10-inch ring light, a tabletop tripod, phone holder with pivot mount, wireless remote shutter, and a rotating ball head, and it is USB type A, so it can plug into a desktop, laptop, or even a portable battery bank. So to start off, we've got these on either side. Then we have the back flap. So straight out of the box, we have the ring light. Oh, actually everything's just kind of in the center. And then off to the side in the box is your tripod mount. This one happened to have the user manual in with the ring light itself, so that's cool. Um, it's just a little quick start guide basically, and it looks roughly the same as the last one. So obviously we have the ring light itself. We have the ball head mount so it can swivel. Wireless remote, which says you need an app but i didn't for my android we have the tabletop tripod and lastly we have the phone mount now that we have everything out of the plastic we can begin assembling first up we have our ball head pivot mount which is optional you do not need this you can just simply put the light on the regular tripod itself if that is what you wish otherwise uh lefty loosey righty tight and then to make this swivel you just undo this and it loosens it up and that is how the swiveling action happens the adjustable tripod's really cool because if you want it to be really tall, for example, then just barely pull the legs out. Otherwise, if you want it really low to the ground, you can have it maxed. I like to point out here that we have three shoe mounts on the ring light itself. So you could add something like a shotgun mic or a secondary light if you like. And on the bottom, we have our standard, I think it's three eighths of an inch thread, but this should just be basically a standard tripod mount. Now that we have the ring light attached to the tripod, we can attach our cell phone mount, which is actually really sturdy. I really like this. And to do that, all you do is simply put this into the thread mount in the center of the ring light on the bottom. This happens to be really flexible and can stay in its spot, which I really like that. So you can do portrait mode or landscape. Also, it has a locking mechanism on the back so you can tighten and hold its spot firm. Now we're gonna plug this in via USB. Now that we're plugged in, you can see that the power button here is lit up blue. Directly above your power button is your brightness level down. This is how you change between the three different colors and then you have your brightness up. So the way you attach your phone is this little mechanism right here. It slides out and it's like spring loaded so it will grip your phone and it's got grippies on the side and on the back to protect your phone and its case. So something like that. But uh, for YouTube purposes, we're gonna turn our phone like this. Okay, so we are back over on my phone and uh, real quickly, I'm gonna turn off my Elgato key light so we're in the dark-ish. Uh, my monitor is on behind me. So basically, again, you've got your power button. This is me turning it on for the first time. I assume it's gonna be really bright. Let's see. Ah, oh, wow, that is ultra bright. <laughs> Turn that down, uh, minus button. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but I always think it's cool. Like a lot of people apparently do not like the ring light bouncing off of someone's eyes and into the camera. Personally, I think it, it looks cool. Looks like uh, your pupils and your eyes are like alien maybe. So this is your natural or your white light. This is probably what you're gonna wanna use whenever you're filming. And currently the brightness level is on setting number three. So now that we've seen what the white or natural light looks like, we're gonna switch to warm lighting. So as you guys can tell, my face is more warm or red, looks like I'm in the sun. And also it's level three. Let's go all the way to level 10. Super bright, uh, really overexposed, wow. 
and this is the lowest setting with warm light, but I like number three like this. So that means that the last setting is the cool tones. Actually, is that, is that white light? Oh, wow. My mistake. Okay, so straight out of the box, it's actually set to a cool tone, then it goes to your warm tone, then it goes to your natural or white light. So this is probably gonna be the one that you're gonna wanna use. Again, it's on setting three. This is setting number 10 all the way up, and this is setting number one, the very lowest it will possibly go, which I would say is the equivalent to like a monitor being on in the background, which looks like this. So maybe, maybe not so much. So for those of you who don't know, the warm and cool settings of the ring light is equivalent to the little slider bar on Instagram, where I believe if you slide it left, it's more of a cool tone. And if you slide it to the right, it's more of a warm tone, you know? So that's basically what the equivalent of the cool tones and the warm tones are. Oh, and lastly, I would like to point out and mention the little remote here. So out of the box, it actually comes separated like this. It's actually really easy to attach the little lanyard to the remote itself if that's what you want to do. I can't get it to focus, I'm so sorry. But basically you take your little thread here and you stick it through the loop. Then it gets caught. And then you take the strap like this and loop it through itself. So like this, ta-da. That's how you put the little lanyard onto the remote. But basically what you wanna do is on the right hand side, you have a little switch here and you turn it on. It will flash blue, which means it's in pairing mode. I'm not too sure about iPhone, but I know with Android, in order to pair it, you just turn on your Bluetooth, find the remote, connect to it, say yes, and then it should be paired up. Once it's paired, it should be solid and you can actually activate with either button. Uh, it says you need an app, but for Android, I don't need an app for some reason. I don't know if that's because this is outdated or if it's because Android just works like that or what. If anyone has an iPhone out there and happens to buy any of these Bower kits that comes with this remote, let me know in the comments down below, do you need an app or can you just pair it through Bluetooth and click either button and not the iOS designated button? Because with my Android, I can click either or and it'll record. Also, while you guys are down there, be sure you sub smash, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that nice, neat stuff. And that way you'll get notified the next time I do an unboxing and review, more than likely of another Bauer product. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.